Hello, I'm Anna Deming from the Materials section of Physics World and behind me is Tokyo Big Site where they have the massive exhibition for Nanotech 2019 going on. I'm going to go and have a look at what's there. and right now there's three main generations. So the first generation was based on fluorescence and there you can only use 25% of the charges, but they're pretty stable and we have lots of colors. Then in about around 2000, they developed phosphorescent materials where you can use 100% of the charges, but you're always building around an iridium atom. So you have that heavy atom that's also expensive. So here at this center, what we did was developed a third generation of materials. These are based on TADF, thermally activated delayed fluorescence. And we found that without that heavy metal, you can still get the really high efficiency. And so now we're looking at new molecular designs to get different colors with the high efficiency and really hoping that we'll find a blue molecule with good stability. So we'll now have an efficient blue emitter material. <music> Our tagline is from shelf, from lab to shelf. So right now we have, um, what we do actually, we extracted a zainton, alpha max from mangosteen pericarp, and then we encapsulate it in niazome, which is enhancing the delivery system. Because as you know, uh, like a normal lotion, what it does is when you apply it on your skin, it only goes to your first layer of your skin. But with niazome, the nanotechnology, it can deliver your ad finger to a stratum corneum. So what we do, it targeted the problematic area. The alpha max is actually, it reduces the production of melanin. It's brightening your skin from within. So instead of using like a harsh chemical, mercury, hydroquinone, this is a safer option for brighter um, and anti-dark spot skin, skin cosmetics. 